We're here at Lady Stairs Close, at the top end of the Royal Mile, near the castle. And we're here in front of the Writers' Museum, which honours three of Scotland's most famous literary figures. Sir Walter Scott, Robert Louis Stevenson, and our national poet, Robert Burns. In late 1786, after the very successful publication of his poems in Kilmarnock, Robert Burns was invited to the City of Enlightenment, to Edinburgh. It took him two days to travel here by pony, but when he arrived here, he was met with a very warm welcome. He'd only intended to stay for a couple of weeks. That turned into a stay of over a year. The ladies loved him in particular, loved his romantic sensibilities. The men loved his wit. Robert Burns left Edinburgh and returned to his native Ayrshire to try and eke out a living as a farmer. But it wasn't successful, it was hard work. So he moved down to Dumfriesshire and became an exciseman, gathering taxes locally. He lived until he was 37 in 1796, when years of ill health finally caught up with him. He was advised by his doctor to go for a curative dip in the River Nith in Dumfries. Sadly, it was to be the end of him. He died in July 1796, but his memory lives on, not just in the burn suppers that we have every 25th of January, but also in his poetry and the work that he influenced of others. To learn more about people like Robert Burns and other figures of the Scottish Enlightenment, come on one of Mercat Tours' five-star tours. We'd be delighted to see you.